Hey, welcome to RichardBankerWebDesign.com. Uh, today we're looking at RS Form Pro. RS Form Pro right here. And we just finished a video on how to replace a specific text box with user data. And we kind of want to do the same thing, but what we want to do in this form is to actually have a place at the top where it says, hey, so-and-so, welcome to the form please fill out this information but we want this information to be like the user's name and by default the free text field here all it is is an HTML block so we can't just put PHP in here it just doesn't work but there is a way to do this and if you stick with me here we're gonna figure it out the first thing I want to do is I want to put in here my HTML. So I want to say hello, and then we're going to put a tag in. And this tag is going to be, you know, what I'm going to use in the back. So I'm just going to call it my user text, just like that. And then I'm going to, I'll put a tag in here, uh, a break in here. I'm going to say, you know what, you need to fill this out because it is freaking awesome. So that's our block of HTML and right here we've got hello and we've got this tag here and you you should be familiar with these tags because you find them all over RS form. It allows you a lot of flexibility. So you have to remember that though, my user text. So we're going to save this or update this this field. So now you'll see hello my user text. So now what we want to do is actually replace the tag my user text with our own information. So to do that, we want to do it on the form display. So we're going to go down, we're going to go to the PHP scripts right here. And you can see that I've already preloaded this information in. But first we want the user. So we're going to use this user tag, jfactory get user. This is what we're using to pull it from the database. And uh, I'm just using the, the variable z just because it's easy and I don't have to explain something long to you. So this right here is going to be pulling the username from the data, from the database. Then we're going to use a string replace. Now you have to make sure there's three different boxes here and we're using the one that where the script is called on the form display and we're using the form layout string. So what we're going to do is actually do a string replace. So we have our form layout equals string replace my user text. So this is the text that we put in that box. So this is the text. It's going to be replaced by whatever is in Z, which is right here, and form layout. So now when we go to the front end, we've got our, our form here. We're going to see our updated field. And it'll say, hello, you need to fill this out because it's freaking awesome. You'll see, well, my information isn't showing up here. Well, that's because we're not logged in right now. We're going to go back to our home page where my conveniently placed login is. Your user is going to log in. Then they're going to go back to the to the form submission. Usually, you know, they'll have logged in before this, but just to show you the difference. So now we see hello admin. You need to fill it out because it's freaking awesome. And we still have our email by default put in here from our last tutorial. And so that's how you can set this up so it says, you know, hello, John, or whoever is on your site. That's an easy way to do it, and it works pretty awesome. So big thumbs up to RS Form Pro for uh, putting these features in there. Got any questions about this tutorial? Drop me a comment. Send me an email. Hope you found it freaking awesome.